What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't ha care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. And ladies and gentlemen, I started working on my dream and most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear, the fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success, what if they do and I can't handle it? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves, and they end up becoming very cynical about life, and they throw in the towel on themselves, and on their families, and on their dreams. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, when the ball comes out, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You've got to execute and you've got to go from 70 to 120. Here's the thing you have to do. You have to jump. There is no way around. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life. People who don't want anything. People who are not striving. People who are not challenging themselves. People who aren't growing. People who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry. People who are unstoppable and unreasonable. People who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. I'm saying to you, your dream is possible. Your dream is possible. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, and not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. Keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So, keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. Hey. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you, you can't do it. You want something, go get it, period.